Hi guys, it's Monday number two and I will be reading you The Secret Life of a Taco written by someone just as crazy as this guy, aka Rosie. Um, <clears throat> the Secret Life of a Taco <clears throat> Once upon a time there was a taco. She lived in San Diego and loved all of her friends. She was friends with an acorn, an ear of corn, and best buds with Mr. Green Apple and Mrs. Red Apple. One sunny day, Taco decided that she had gone to the beach too much and wanted to do something different. I'll go to the zoo, she thought. I love seeing all of the pretty animals. I really want to see a panda. So Taco went to the zoo and saw all sorts of amazing animals. She saw lions and a turkey. But there was an animal that really caught her attention. A black and white bear sat behind a box made of iron bars and frowned at her. You poor thing, she said. I'll save you, but how? Taco tried to think of a way to rescue Panda, but there was a big lock on the cage and she could not get in. Suddenly a man walked up to the cage. It's feeding time, he said and held up a large handful of bamboo. The man unlocked the cage and walked in to put the food in the feeding circle. Eat up, he said, but turned to find Panda missing. Taco ran with Panda, ran, Taco, sorry. Taco ran with Panda under her coat. Her tomato chunks beat rapid, beating rapidly in her shell as security swarmed all over the zoo. She ran for the exit gate, so close to the escape when she was stopped by security. Excuse me, ma'am, what is under your coat? Taco thought quickly. How dare you assume there was something under my coat, she yelled. I'm naturally this beefy. The security officer apologized and she slipped out the gate to freedom. I think you'll like it better out here, she said to Panda. I'm going to call you Saucer from now on, and our life together will be one big fiesta. We cannot stay here in Foodland, San Diego, though. We'll have to go downtown. It's too risky here. So, Taco and Panda... And Excuse me, Taco and Salsa went to the slums of downtown to hide out from a life of crime. And this is the life after crime. See how they're happy? Happy son, big heart, big panda named Salsa. Um, <clears throat> I'm afraid, Taco said to Salsa, it's dark and I'm afraid that they will find us. Psst, what was that? Psst, over here. Anonymous came out of the shadows. Who? Who are you? I am Anonymous. I think I can help you. How? Taco asked. Put these on, Anonymous said, handing her a strange dark object. She did as she was told. Perfect, said Anonymous. I can't see anything, said Taco Incognito. Now you are a Taco Incognito, said Anonymous. I have a plan. Anonymous and Taco Incognito and Salsa went into the woods where, Ta where Anonymous explained her plan. The land of Superstar is the only safe place for you too. You can live in peace among the all-knowing Superstar in her, in her Quaker-like village. You know, she modeled it after Pennsylvania. Anyways, just follow the multi-colored brick road and you will find Superstar land. You're not coming with us, Taco Incognito asked. Me, replied Anonymous, no one has ever asked me to come with them. Why, only if it is okay with you. Of course I want you to come. We are best friends and I am sure we will make best friends with Superstar when we get there. And this is them walking down the multicolored road to Superstar Land. When the three of them arrived in Superstar Land, they were greeted by great festivities. Queen Superstar and all... Her all-knowing wisdom came from her castle and met the three travelers. Welcome to my home, she said. Let us have a friendship feast to celebrate our undying love for one another, even though we just met. Their friendship ceremony commenced and everyone chowed down at the feast and chatted away and became even better friends and lived happily ever after on the Quaker Queendom of Superstar Land. The end. And this is them having a feast, and this is the end. And it says, you know the story's over, you can take off the sunglasses now. And the talkers are like, about that. And I'm sorry if I rushed that, but I wanted to fit in 
put it in to four minutes. This is the secret life of a tall girl. And I don't know if this is four minutes, but if it is, then I love you guys. And I will answer questions next time. And I can't wait to see you, Sarah. So, bye guys.